Welcome to today's FreeQMS 5 minute series, where you can get fully trained on any module in just 5 minutes or less. Today's focus will be on the customer's module. Firstly, if you haven't already, you'll create an account at FreeQMS.com. When you're ready, you will click the existing user login button at the top right of the page. Once you enter the credentials and log in, you'll be taken to the FreeQMS homepage that displays all of the active modules. From here, you can make any changes to existing users or create new accounts from the Users tab on the left side of the screen. If you do not wish to make any changes, then simply go ahead and click the green Customers icon under the Modules section. The Customers module is entirely free to all clients from the get-go. This will take you to the Customers directory page that will list all currently logged customers. Assuming this is your first time coming here, you will not see anything in this list just yet. That being said, you can now click the Create Customer button at the top of the page to be taken to a new blank customer form. The mandatory fields here are as follows. The customer's name, coordinator, website, and a selectable evaluation level, which if you look just below this field, you can see a separate button titled Configure Evaluation Levels. Be aware that if you click this button without saving your current form, your progress will be lost. Clicking this button will allow you to set the length in days per level that customers at any given level are evaluated. If you make any changes here, then be sure to click the Save button at the bottom when you're done. Once you've finished and created your customer form, you will see it populated in the main customer directory. Click the customer you just created to open it again, and you will see the information you just filled out. At the top, you'll find easy to identify tabs for various functions, such as customer activities with the available activities, monitor and measure performance, and notify external party. The files tab, which you will use to attach documentation. Tasks, where you will assign tasks to other users. And approvals, where you will run and sign off on approval cycles. And that about covers it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or reach out at our website. And remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming 5 Minute Free QMS videos.